Music Messe 2013 znajdujemy się na stanowisku firmy Orange. Wydaje mi się, że najciekawszym produktem tegorocznych targów i firmy Orange jest to, co stoi po mojej prawej, czyli najnowszy tester lamp. Jest to świetne urządzenie, które może obsługiwać każdy laik, który chce sobie po prostu sprawdzić, czy jego lampy są nadal dobre, czy wymagają wymiany. Dotychczas urządzenia takie były zarezerwowane tylko dla profesjonalistów, dla inżynierów, którzy potrafili powiedzieć coś o lampach, którzy potrafili sami je przetestować. Na dzień dzisiejszy mamy urządzenie, które działa bardzo prosto. Jak widzicie mamy trzy wejścia na zwykłą lampę L84 oraz na lampy z preampu. Jedyne co robimy to wkładamy lampę, wybieramy rodzaj lampy za pomocą jednego z tych przycisków, czyli strzałek oraz wciskamy przycisk OK. I po chwili mamy wynik, czy nasza lampa jest dobra, czy nie jest dobra. I oczywiście mamy też wskaźnik, który nam mówi tak naprawdę ile jeszcze zostało żywotności w tej lampy. Dlatego jest to bardzo fajne urządzenie i uważam, że jest to perełka na tegorocznych targach, jeżeli chodzi o firmę Orange. Hello, welcome to Frankfurt Music Messe 2013. We got the OR100 here, which we actually launched at the NAM show. Now this is slightly different to the 50 in the way that it's a channel switching amp. It has a two-stage clean channel, very similar to the one on the TH100. It also has a four-stage lead channel, which has a foot switchable boost. And also there's a foot switchable global boost as well, which adds 3 dB to whatever you've got set up on the amplifier, you know. Great for lead solos and stuff like that, you know. Uh, it's it's made out of the UK factory. Yeah, it's on two ounce copper, so it's got a little bit more headroom even than the TH100 as an amp, you know. Uh, it does anything from picks only style, classic, sort of clean, crunch, lead, through to full on four stage, you know, full shred kind of metal territory, you know. Uh, yeah, we're pr pretty pleased the way it's turned out, you know. It's a different animal to the OR50, which is, is an animal on its own. I kind of wanted to keep that that way. Also released at NAM show this year was the Custom Shop 50. And it's basically based on the Retro 50 with added presence. So you get a bit more punch, a bit more crunch, a bit more chime, you know. But it's, it's that circuit, it's that picks only style phase inverter used there, you know, the concertina style sound that, that the oranges of, of kind of 1972 had, you know, uh, and it's, it's all, it's built on uh, the epoxy, you know, a really good fire rate in uh, turret board, uh, which is a step up from the original custom shops, you know, that we've actually made the construction even better on this, you know, uh, as I say, it's a, it's a classic amp, and it's, it's still, it's still retained the 30 watts 50 watts class A, class A B switch on the back, you know. Also, this is new for this show, Frankfurt 2013. We've got CR60, we've got CR120 and CR120 head, yeah? All, all the same preamp. Basically, it's a rock of verb built using op amps instead of tubes, yeah? So all the gain stages, the channel switching, the EQ frequencies, the gain structure is the same. Yeah. So operation, operationally, the preamp is the same as a rock verb, just done using op amps. Yeah. So the result is actually quite good. Uh, the only thing that's digital on there is the reverb, and that's a module which has got three settings on a small switch on the top here. You'll see the switch there. It's it's. Uh, you can just see it, you've got spring, hall, and plate, you know. Uh, so, it's actually, uh, you have an output stage, like a global control added to this amp as well, which, which just does the output. Uh, all analog circuitry, but solid state and not tube, yeah. Uh, it, it uses the, the orange voice of the world speaker here, which I don't know if you can see. Got the voice of the world, voice of the world speaker there. Yeah. Uh, and price points, 
you will have to check with Anthony, but it's it's you know they're they're very reasonably priced, and it's a lot of amp for the money. Uh, it took us quite a lot of time to develop because it's, you're trying to carefully adapt that preamp without using tubes, you know, for people who you know can't afford the the the, the tube stuff.